mysteries and misconceptions will never cease to exist in the cosmic world. Yet only a few can compare to the theory of the long-standing paradox called black holes. Scientists describe black holes as a space-time region with an intense gravitational force so strong that even light cannot penetrate through it. But there's much more to these matter-consuming interstellar elements that you've not heard about just yet. If you search the term black hole on the internet, chances are you'll find tons of articles and videos crediting Albert Einstein for its discovery. But that's not the truth. With all due respect to the master Einstein, John Mitchell, an English natural philosopher and clergyman, was the first person to introduce the concept of black holes in 1783. Albert Einstein is, without doubt, one of the most regarded physicists of all time. And without doubt, his theory of general relativity has given us more insight into black holes. But all of the accolades he is getting for discovering the concept should be directed towards Mitchell, who was an exceptional scientist in his own right. Contrary to what most people think, black holes are not cosmic vacuum cleaners. They do not suck in matter. Indeed, they have a very strong gravitational pull that eats up everything that crosses their path, but not in the way that the sci-fi movies suggest. The fact is, gravitational pull reduces significantly as you move away from a black hole. So, for instance, if somehow we were able to replace our Sun with a black hole of the same mass, the Earth would not be pulled in. Rather, it would continue to orbit around the black hole as it currently does with the Sun. When an object or matter approaches the black hole, it falls into the black hole the same way it would under gravity on Earth. Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, which gave us more insight into the theory of black holes in 1916, also confirmed that time flows at different rates, depending on your speed and proximity to a large body with a strong gravitational field. This means that if you stood beside a large body, for instance a black hole, time would move more slowly for you than it would for somebody standing far away from the body. This phenomenon is known as time dilation and has been confirmed by several scientific experiments over the years. What if our entire universe is confined inside a black hole? What if there's a universe in every black hole? It sounds unimaginable, but this concept may as well help to explain some of the long-standing mysteries that have left scientists dumbfounded for decades. The most significant is that it provides a different idea about how our universe was formed and also supports the concept of multiverses, which has been one of the most tedious areas of study for researchers. Interestingly, scientists have quipped in the past that there's a black hole at the centre of each universe, suggesting that there could be black holes within black holes. What would be your fate if you fell into a black hole? Well, to be honest, the end result is certainly not pleasant, regardless of the type or size or black hole you choose. If somehow you find yourself inside a black hole, like Hollywood actor Matthew McConaughey did in the movie Interstellar, you will suffer from a condition known as spaghettification. That's a scientific word, actually. During this process, the black hole's enormous gravity compresses your body horizontally by pulling it like chewy candy in the vertical direction. Let's say your feet get in first. Your toes will experience more gravitational force than your head, causing different sections of your body to elongate in all sorts of directions. And if there were a cameraman to capture this horrific scene, the footage would show you looking like a freshly made strand of spaghetti. Elements within the universe experience different levels of forces, but none can be compared to the sheer amount of force produced by black holes. They are hungry and always willing to devour whatever is placed before them in the most unfriendly way possible. Since it is virtually impossible to study black holes from close range, scientists have been using computer simulations to calculate several characteristics of black holes. Currently, the smallest supermassive black hole was found 340 million light-years away at the heart of RGG118 dwarf galaxy. 
Its mass is 50,000 times that of our Sun. In the mid-range Sagittarius A, the black hole at the centre of the Milky Way galaxy weighs 4.6 million times the mass of the Sun. But that's nothing compared to the scary supermassive black hole at the heart of the giant Messier 87 galaxy, which is 6.4 billion times the weight of our Sun. However, none of these black holes are a match for the ultimately powerful black hole at the centre of the quasar TON618. It weighs 66 billion solar masses, making it the most powerful black hole discovered yet. Want to rewrite history? A good way to start would be to delete your past, and a black hole can help you do that. As if Einstein's theory of general relativity isn't confusing enough, scientists have continued to turn it inside out, searching for even more mysteries. And they've found a couple. In 2018, a group of mathematicians dug deeper into the theory of relativity and confirmed that some black holes in the universe, like the one we live in, could erase the history of their content, seemingly wiping out the past and placing a huge question mark on the future. Black holes are always hungry, but they are generous to give out matter as well. In fact, it is believed that black holes are able to eject about 1,000 times the matter they swallow. This process is governed by the accretion disk, which is a flattened circular or elliptic structure that is formed as matter falls into a black hole. As mentioned, black hole at its centre, but not highlighted earlier, there is a black hole at the centre of every galaxy. But not every galaxy has an accretion disk. Cosmic cannibalism has perhaps been around for a lifetime. Stars eat up themselves. Galaxies feed on other galaxies to extend their territory and lifespan. Black holes have also been caught in the act as well. When two black holes come within touching distance, they are unable to escape each other's gravity. So they merge to form an even bigger black hole. So far, none of our telescopes or other observatories have captured this event yet. But scientists have been able to prove it in different computer simulated experiments. As Einstein's theory of relativity suggests, vast objects have a massive gravitational pull that distorts space. We've witnessed it with different gigantic objects, but never with a black hole until recently. Scientists at Stanford's Kavli Institute for Particle Astrophysics and Cosmology, who were studying the corona of a black hole located 800 million light years away, saw light bend behind the monstrous object. This shouldn't be possible under normal circumstances because nothing, including light particles, can pass through black holes. But as Einstein's theory predicts, this black hole was able to bend and warp light around itself using its enormous gravitational pull. Black holes might carry the strongest force in the world and even the fast traveling particles of light cannot escape them. But they are not strong enough to trap Hawking radiation, an interesting aspect of quantum mechanics that dismisses the long-held belief that nothing can penetrate the event horizon of a black hole. This radiation describes the hypothetical particles that are formed by the black holes around its boundary. This theory, which is supported by combined models of general relativity and quantum mechanics, also rightly suggests that a black hole would shed some of its weight and shrink as it emits these particles. The discovery and existence of black holes have been shrouded in mystery, and hopefully this video has helped to shed some light on some of the misconceptions you may have had. But if you had to, which of these facts fascinated you the most? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.